Today we're learning more about an officer-involved shooting in northwestern Sioux Falls. Shortly after 1.30 yesterday afternoon, officers were called to assist sheriff's deputies at Southeastern Behavioral Health's Cayman Court, which is an assisted living center for people with severe mental illness. Inside, police say they found a person holding two knives. The chief of police says other people in the building were moved to safety while police officers and sheriff's deputies tried to negotiate. He says police tried to get the person to drop the knives. When that failed, they used a non-lethal projectile launcher, but that was also unsuccessful. And then as the event continued to proceed, subject made a movement towards officers and two officers discharged their firearms. Um, subject then complied with dropping the knives, at which point immediate medical aid was given to the subject. The person was taken to the hospital. As is standard, the two officers were placed on administrative leave. Chief Toome says the South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation has been called in to take a closer look at the shooting. He says officers do everything they can to avoid using lethal force. I think it's important to stress that uh, a confrontation like this is not one that we desire at all. It really is one that we, we seek to avoid, and we try to use that less lethal option as a way to to not have it get to the point where firearms are used when at all feasible, because sometimes there's time and space, sometimes there's not. Toome says DCI agents are already going over the evidence and should have a report within a month. And we reached out to Attorney General Marty Jackley, who is in charge of the DCI. A spokesman says he will be briefed on the initial investigation later tonight.